Welcome back. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golain. Act two. Here we go. We traveled east, over the mountains and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that barren wasteland. How long? I couldn't say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. There below us lay our destination. The shining jewel root lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams return, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Tarasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Yet when their attempts failed, Tarasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. Set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutgulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Greetings. Greetings, Jaren. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lut Golain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I am glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. 
Caravans take people where they want to go. Until they get there. Let's go around town to meet everyone. King. Stay a while and listen. What do you have to say? Meshif is an interesting man. Part of him longs for the freedom of the open seas. Yet his heart belongs in his homeland. Era. I know much about the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of Zakarum in the Eastern Koras Temple many years ago. Short Spear of Maiming Quantity 40 oh Yeah, we got some new weapons uh. Let's see hmm. That's a unique sword I have to try it not sure which one will be better though, I think. Because I can't use any abilities with my sword, but... It may be so good that it's uh, still better than the trident. We'll see. How do I know I can trust you, hmm? You may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> halt. You may not pass. Okay. Elzix. Hmm. You look like a sturdy adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Nowadays, I run this here inn and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. And that's the, uh, that's the mercenary guy. I really do want to play the entire game with Blaze, though. You've been with her since the beginning. Geglash is an imposing warrior, but he's never been able to back down from a fight. One of these days, his pride will be the death of him. Trap door. I've heard that you are responsible for banishing Andariel back to the Burning Hells. I'm impressed, stranger. That couldn't have been easy. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. What do you have? Bows. And shields. You know, and my shields are terrible. Especially this one. What do you have? One socket? 33 defense? Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, I'll buy that one. Good day. 
Edna. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful, though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. Find Radiman's lair in the Lutko Lane sewers. I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Graze seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. Mischief. Greetings, Amazon. I haven't seen one of your kind in many years. It's good to know that warriors of your caliber are protecting this city. I'm Mischief, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. There are two entrances to the sewers, I believe. One of them is right near here, down by the water beneath the docks. I can see it from my ship, and you can bet I keep an eye on it every night. I think that was everyone. Yeah, we'll use the trap door to get to the sewers. There's a waypoint in level 2. So his sword is not bad. The main source of damage will always be the uh, the javelins, but if I have to melee, that was a pretty good job.
Is it all the way south? Maybe. Ring. Faster cast rate, stamina. Is it back this way? Yeah, maybe. That's the the dark entrance. Try the uh, the trident. Level three. I think they're about the same, honestly. Heavy boots. Rare ones. Huh? 
Poison Lightning Resist, 15-17%, and Poison Light Reduced. Not bad. has been avenged. Got a small charm. Book of skill. Right click to learn skill of your choice. Don't mind if I do. No. Hmm. I'll have to learn that at some point. For now, I'll keep with a uh, poison javelin. Return to Adma for a reward. Nefrun. I can't carry any more. One 
uncalled damage. I'll let Kane identify my things. A Roderick scroll and an amulet. Show the scroll to Kane and loot the lane. Back to town. Greetings. They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Ah, the lost Herodric Scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rasha's burial chamber. Search the halls of the dead under the dry hills for the cube. Search the maggot's lair under the far oasis for the shaft. Search the claw viper temple for the headpiece. It's the main quest for the entire act. Hmm. How may I help you? Nine to life. So the hmm. not sure I want to hang on to that honestly. Three slots for eleven life. Not that great. Yeah, I think I'll sell it. Yeah. Sell that too. Hmm. Still not sure which one I want to use. I know when I get a better spear, it's going to be better, but for now, these two. I'll go buy another shield. Allow me to advise you. Uh -huh. One side. Oops. This way. Okay. Well, I think I will call the part here. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.